floating cities, even colonies in space. But you know, this isn't exactly the first time anyone's tried to make this trip. People have been dreaming about the future for centuries. Well, here, here's the stuff dreams were made of several hundred years ago. Yep, it's always fun looking back at tomorrow. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. There's the grand old man himself, Jules Verne. This is the way a moonshot looked to him back in the late 1800s. Old Uncle Jules may not have had all the answers, but he had the right idea. He was just a little ahead of his time. You know, people have painted some pretty fantastic views of the future. And some pretty mixed up ones, too. Easy living. It's always been just around the corner. back at tomorrow through the movies of yesteryear. cityscape the microprocessor an entire computer on a tiny silicon chip crystals inspired by nature now engineered by man for an ever-growing role in microelectronics the world of liquid space oceans of minerals and food ready to fuel tomorrow's needs the building blocks for the future up ahead. And while it may look fantastic, remember, it's all possible. That's right. And we ought to know. We live there. Come on, take a look at 21st century living. On land, at sea, and even out in space. But let's start off at our place. That's our daughter she's talking. She's 
doing wonders out there on one of those desert farms. Wrote this myself. Like it. Attention, Horizons passengers. Our travels will be briefly delayed. Please remain seated. Your vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Good evening. That's our daughter she's talking to. She's doing wonders out there on one of those desert farms. Please remain seated. Your vehicle will begin moving immediately. Remain seated, please. Your journey is resuming now. That little girl and her husband are in choir. Like music? My wife there has a good ear. That's our daughter. She's doing wonders out I can. Oh, I meant to ask you, how's the new symptoms? It's great. It's amazing what that variable solar control can do. Isn't it something? Send a city kid to college for seven years, and what happens? She becomes a farmer. Oh, I think agricultural engineer is a little more like it. Okay, but me, I'll take the city. Yes, it's always exciting. But hey, with today's transportation, we're just minutes away from our kids. Look at that, will you? A few years ago, this was all barren desert. No crops, no irrigation. Quite a transformation. Purpose to six. Continue transport functions, then hold for further instructions. Stand by number four, crop transport. Hey, the latest weather forecast is calling for rain out of the north. I can see the clouds from here. You know, this really makes me proud. And you wanted her to go to law school. But do you suppose they ever miss the fun of the city? Oh, I think they get their share right here. Just Shouldn't your granddaughter be studying instead of flirting with that beach boy? He is not a beach boy. He's studying marine biology there on the floating city. You know, you might just check that fin too. And never horse around while diving. Never. Don't even see horse around. <laughs> okay, class, settle down. Now we're almost ready to go. But before we do, let's review our diving rules one more time. Relax. Amazing. I mean, whole new industries have developed in them. And under them, mariculture, all sorts of marine mining, fuels, energy. And fun. Remember fun? I'm serious. Well, so am I. Floating cities have opened up whole new ways for people to enjoy their lives, as well as their work. something sort of mysterious about our oceans. We knew they were filled with valuable gifts for us. Yeah, water and seaweed. Very funny. But seawater has become an excellent source of energy, as well as being valuable for desert irrigation. And kelp... Seaweed? Kelp is a tremendous source of low-cost fuel. 
Oh, we found lots of good things under our oceans. And don't forget space. We found lots of good things out there, too. exercise in zero gravity. It looks like fun. It is once you get the hang of it. from space for all kinds of industries back on Earth. And that's... Uh-oh. We gotta run. Time for our grandson's party? Uh-huh. We'll catch up to you later. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear lady. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Attention please, Horizons 1 Earth Shuttle now available for boarding at gate 22. Final boarding call for Horizons 1. Horizons passengers, you are invited to choose your own flight path back to the future port. Please look down at the lighted panels in front of you. Press one of the three ride choices, space, desert, or undersea. Everyone can choose. Majority rules. All passengers, make your selections now. from the future. Oh, it went by so quickly. Yes, but one of the nice things about traveling into the future is that the journey is just beginning. That's right. And I'll tell you something. If we can dream it, we really can do it. And that's the most exciting part. All of us at GE look forward to bringing good things to life for you. Today and tomorrow. Now, please